pass, easy pass. Oh, <coughs> sorry, that's the wrong song. Way, no way, nope, that one's wrong too. Okay, uh, Morning ahead. thanks Tom, what are we doing here? Is there a thing that we do when we get to these? Ahead. Yeah, I know Tom, I can see it. Well, is there a thing, are there things we do? Is it, is it a thing that we do now? Or, or do we do things when we go to these? I don't remember what happens when we go through one of these. Is there a thing? Yeah, I know, Tom. Good Lord, Thomas, you drive me nuts when we come here. Lord Almighty. Ugh. So I'm not entirely sure what we're gonna do when we come in this thing. I mean, everything changes color, because now it's orange, and it's really dark, and it's only getting darker, and I think there's something at the end of this place. I don't know what it is, but I'm really, really not sure what I'm supposed to do right now. What the heck is that, 22 in a diamond? It looks like a highway on the back of that SUV. Good boy. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. We have called it a night. Um, it's starting to get dark already. We weren't going to stay here, but the place I'm delivering tomorrow has a gate. <laughs> and they closed about an hour before I got here. So we're just going to call it quits. And then get up early tomorrow morning. I'm already glad that you can barely see, but that's somebody's truck right there. So I already have a neighbor. I have a grassy lot on this side, so the jet has somewhere to go hang out. So things are good. Things are things are very good. At least I think they are. It's just quiet. It's different. I like that all the trucks that are parked like right here don't idle. It's very nice. There's no reefers. There's no idling. It's very quiet. And it's gonna be nice enough that I'm gonna leave the windows slightly cracked, and it's gonna be on point. All right, jet. It's gonna be beautiful tonight. Honestly, I should probably watch my footage because I don't know where I left off because uh, I, I kind of took a small break there, like yesterday. <laughs> like, I didn't film it all yesterday. We are currently at the TA in Lodi. Um, I think this is my new favorite truck stop, uh, mostly because I can come here on a regular basis. Uh, <laughs> that has a lot to do with it. But the other part is that it's clean. They take care of this place. I kid you not. Like, there's a kid that wanders the parking lot and picks up all the trash that it's it's amazing how much trash accumulates overnight because I've been taking Jet out who's eating his breakfast he's a go bowl away <laughs> um but yeah it's it's really a super clean truck stop I got my inspection done here yesterday they were super profesh in and out clean inspection in 20 minutes I love it that was great um, but we're getting ready to go pick up our load going to New Hampshire this one is taking me through the house which is really cool to remember is that did I talk about this at all it's a really long load like I pick it up Friday today and it delivers on Tuesday next week I normally don't like those especially for $2,200 because you wait it's five days for 2200 bucks 
but there's a weekend in the middle. So weekend days are a little weird because it's hard to get freight that delivers on Saturdays and Sundays. Um, like harder than I anticipated for a van. <laughs> that's what I'm surprised about. With a flatbed, I get it, but a van, I don't. <laughs> but apparently it's a hard thing to do. So um, I don't like picking up loads with $2,200 for five days. Waste too much time, but a weekend makes a difference. Um, that and this pretty much gets me really close to the house. So I was just gonna dead head home. It was 500 miles. I was like, okay, well I can do that. So I'm just going home. And we have that family reunion thing I have on this coming weekend. Uh, but I got another load, I think. I'm waiting for it to be completely confirmed, but I think I have a load coming out of there that's going to practically Carlisle, Pennsylvania, which is where I was gonna leave the truck anyway. Now it only pays 700 bucks, which I normally don't do, but I'm going home. <laughs> so it's not $1,000 a day, but it's paying for the fuel pretty much the way that I look at it. And it gets me back home on the 7th instead of the 6th. So that's not bad. Like, I need to spend the night in the truck one more night. Right, Jet? I don't know if he's going to come with me because we're going home this weekend. Like, we're picking up this load and going to the house. So, and then I can get my reset in. I really need it. And then I'm taking a few days off to go do this family reunion thing. And then I get 10 days to work. And then we're going on vacation vacation. Like, we're taking the RV out west and we're going to go do... Uh, Arches in Utah again. Um, we're gonna go do the Grand Canyon for real this time. Cause last time we just drove to it and watched the sunset and a thunderstorm roll through and then left. <laughs> uh, I think it was somewhere on the south rim. And then we're going to do one of the slot canyons in Arizona, which I'm really excited about. And then we have to run home. And then I go back to work again. <laughs> ah, Shelby, Ohio, I have returned. We were here when we went to Maine. Remember this? I'm picking up another load, going to New Hampshire. It's almost like stuff out of here goes to New England. Who would have thought? Who would have thought? Anyway, there are lots of signs that say no trucks this way, no trucks that way. Um, I think I have a route. I gotta do this little thing I'm gonna dig, which Steve called the dog leg. And I'm really sorry, Steve. I know you told me to go to they have a unicorn pool. I know you told me to go a different route, but uh, I picked this one. So I'm sorry, I made a, I made a call. I know you don't care, but I'm apologizing. <laughs> In a quarter of a mile, turn left on East Main Street, OH39. You got it. Look at this fancy factory. What did they do here? Or do, do here? Is it still running? Shelby Power is what that door says. Maybe it's still, is it still running? I don't know. Here you go, Jet, have a window. In 800 feet, turn left on East Main Street, yeah, we've been this way before. This is the way we left last time. I made sure to go this way because Tom brought me in a really dumb way last time. Please don't kill the butterflies. Please don't kill the butterflies. Ding ding. Alright, so we're going to make this first turn to the left. We're going to do the thing. I know, I know, I opened the door. Oh no. We're okay, bud. <laughs> Jet was like, what are you doing, mom? You haven't stopped. <laughs> You're okay. All right, is it my turn yet? No? I gotta wait for that blue car to figure out what it's doing. And then I'm gonna squeeze this intersection out. Watch, I'm gonna squeeze it. All right, let's do it. Do, 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 do. Here I go. I hope that truck is, uh, I have a green. You cannot go. <laughs> Woo! Take up the whole intersection. Da 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 da. Nailed it. Nailed it. Da 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 da. All right, railroad crossing. Whoop! Wee! Go nice and slow. Oh, you're trying to turn. Sorry, man. There you go. Oh, H61. Oh, H61. You got it, Tom. Welcome to downtown Shelby. I think the last time I was here, I called it quaint. It's still quaint. That hasn't changed. There's a truck. Oh, with this tandem slit. Feet, turn right on North Gamble Street, OH61. Now I'm gonna take a right. Yes, a right. Get excited. We are very excited. I'm gonna steal this whole intersection. Watch me go. I'm just. I'm not even gonna. I'm not even gonna watch. I'm gonna steal the whole thing because it's the right turn. All right, there's nobody there, yay. Oh, there's a bike. Oh, no, a bike. Okay. Boop, 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 boop. 
Woo. We got it. <laughs> oh, that one was tight. I knew that was gonna be tight, but I didn't want to hit the guy on the bike. I liked the guy with the bike. Woo! All right, next time, listen to t listen to Steve. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we made it. We didn't hit anything. I ran over sidewalk, but we'd made the turn. Whew, that was not as graceful as I wanted it to be, but there was a bike. And I didn't want to hit the... I was glad it was a bike and not a car. Could you imagine if it was a car? I wouldn't have made it. He would have had to back up. <laughs> but I didn't get him. He smiled, and we're all good. <laughs> oh. That one I did not feel great about, but we did it. We did it. Ugh. Okay, let's go pick up my stuff. Are we good? I'm good. I'm I'm all done. I'm good. I'm gonna go pick up my stuff. What's outside, Chet? What's outside? What is that? What is that? Oh, the deer heard him too. What's that? Oh, in my book. What's that? What's that? What's outside? What's outside? He's losing his mind. It's a deer, bud. Oh, you scared him. The deer is running away. <laughs> oh, Jet, you ruined the deer's day. Now he's going to go run and hide. You scared him. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. Oh, man. All right, let's get out of town. I'm going to take 62 straight through the 314. It's going to be a different route. I'm going to see how that one plays out. Cool. So I don't have to do those turns again. Good, 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 good. We have 30,000 pounds, which is awesome. Slid my tandems all the way up because I'm a lazy driver. I like my turning radius more than I like a balanced load. <laughs> I should really look into that and see how it balances out. I want to know how much my, I slid, ugh. I, I slid my, my fifth wheel for the first time I have ever slid a fifth wheel. Just a little bit and it was weird. Cause there, it's weird. Yeah, yeah. Turn right at uh -huh, sure. Yep. Okay, Tom. Um, but anyway, so I did that, and I think it's like thrown my front axle out of whack, so that now it's a little bit heavier than I want it to be. Um, it can carry 13 too, so it's not that heavy. But I think it might be around like 12.6 or 12.7 on a regular basis. So I kind of need to fix that because I'm sure there are some states that don't want me to do that in their state. It's 150 feet. Thanks, Tom. But we've gotten really lucky so far because I don't carry anything heavy, so it's never really that bad. <laughs> Except this next load going back to Pennsylvania, that one might be heavy. So that might be when we slide it because that's supposed to be 42,000 pounds. But who knows? Maybe it'll be balanced. I don't know. It's chemicals going to Napa, so it might be oil. <laughs> Honestly, it might be oil. Napa know how. All right, let's leave. <laughs> So a grand total is like 63,000 pounds. I just, I hate toll booths. Thanks, thanks Tom. I'm gonna stay right here because I'm in the right lane. But I hate toll booths because they are dangerous. They are not the right size for me. Ah! Ah! I don't like it. I don't like it. It's the worst. All right, good. I have been cleared for takeoff. I'm still going really slow though. I hate these. I hate these. Ugh! Ugh! This is the worst. Ugh. <laughs> Why I go so slow? I don't know if I'm going to hit something. And I'd rather not rush into it and be overconfident and then break something. Because I have to pay for it. And I ain't going to do that. It's not worth the risk. Pittsburgh, not Cleveland. 
Let, we're not going to Pittsburgh, but we're heading in that direction. But we're not going to Pittsburgh. But we're, we're heading in that direction. Does that make sense? We're going to go this way. 76 eastbound. Sorry, Steve. I'm not listening to you again. It'll probably come back to bite me. But uh, I, don't, I don't like 322. I really don't. I don't. I think I need to change a setting on my camera. It like changes the color tone on me and I think that's an automatic thing that I can fix. So I don't know how to look that up yet. I'm gonna figure it out and then I'm gonna fix it so that it doesn't do that anymore. And it just is. I'm very excited about that because it's really hard to edit when everything is blue. It's really hard. We're going through the doubles. Get ready for the doubles. Is this the doubles or the single? I don't remember. Carlisle. I'm staying in my little secret spot. My secret spot that everybody else knows where it is because they're all parking there. Good morning internet, good morning. Hello, we are in New Jersey now. We are passing a way station. No way. No way. It's close. It is close. We are not weighing, which is great. I am not interested. Uh, what else was I going to say? Something about we're in New Jersey and we're on our way to New Hampshire and it's going to be great. Things are awesome. I am excited. Uh, we only have, oh, so normally I don't plan to get a load going back, right? I'm like, eh, maybe. We'll see what happens. But I don't mind deadheading home because I get paid so well to go up. Well, lo and behold, there's a little tiny load going practically home. It's going to Carlisle, Pennsylvania. So I took that. It doesn't pay a lot. I think I talked about this. I feel like I've talked about this. It pays $700. It's literally going to pay for the fuel and the tolls to get home. That's all this load is for, is so that I get a net zero on the way home. It may end up, I might make a little bit of money, but not enough for me to be like, oh yeah, I made money on that trip. Nay, nay. I'm making money on the way up, not on the way back. And not nearly the kind of money I made the last time I came up this way. But anyway, it's okay. Way station on the other side. Oh man, is that open. Holy Toledo. Oh, what a nightmare. Oh, that's awful. Oh God. Well, uh, we'll have to remember that on our way home. This next load is going to be heavy, so we have to scale out, which is okay. We can do that. We got this. We're gonna be near the Mass Pike uh, when we do. So I think there's a scale and a pilot up that way in Sturbridge. So we'll do that. It's not like gonna break the bank heavy, but it's like 42,000 pounds heavy. So I'd like to scale out because that's that's pushing it. It's pushing it. All right, let's go ahead and carry on around 287 here in about 23 miles. That's the one that goes around the cities. The ones I don't want to go into. JB Hunt driver that just said hi to me. He was really neat. Uh, <laughs> it was very obvious that he was saying hi. Sometimes when you guys honk at me, you don't make it obvious that you're saying hi. Sometimes you just honk at me and it, it, I, I immediately think that you're like getting mad at me about something. So make it obvious like he did. That was really cool. So anyway, I had a dead battery so we didn't see most of New Jersey or New York or most of Connecticut. We are on our way to Hartford right now. We're on I-91. 
Uh, traffic has been amazing, which I'm really upset I didn't get to film because I've only hit a couple of spots where it's been a little slow, which has been great. So I'll uh, make it up to you tomorrow, I guess. I get the battery charger up front now so we don't run into this problem again and I forget about it when I go get food in Connecticut because that's what happened too. Uh, I just hope that the microphone makes it because that battery is also dying. I have a problem. <laughs> arrived at our delivery, our delivery, my delivery, the delivery, we are here. Um, we are in the middle of nowhere, New Hampshire. Look at my back in. So you can see that's not far. <laughs> but uh, it was really easy because all the door that I'm in, I just had to back straight in. But I had to go all the way around the building to turn around because there's really not a lot of room. You can see the building behind me. See the building? Um, there really is not a lot of room for these doors at all. This, this warehouse is super cool because they, they do like tires and stuff but it's two levels. So when they're loading these trailers, they're literally rolling them down a ramp from floor one to floor, or floor two to floor one. And so the tires run down a ramp and into the truck and it's hilarious. It's very cool. But I mean, this is good. They're gonna unload me and then we're gonna go pick up my little load going back home. And I'm gonna drive all the way back up here. I really like it up here. I'm The little towns that we drove through and like all the little, I could spend weekends up here. It'd be totally fine and go antiquing and do all kinds of stuff. You can tell I dropped my camera. I've got like the rubber siding is all coming off. I would have so much fun up here. I do like New England. I do miss it up here. done but holy shit the entire truck stop just lost power I'm sitting here talking to Steve I was about to ask him if it was weird to not have jet because jets with me but literally the entire truck stop just lost power there are some massive massive thunderstorms going through here I'll show you um, I'm there <laughs> uh, so yeah maybe the thunderstorms knocked the power out good lord I was just hanging out, minding my own business. But the whole shop went dark, and I was like, shop doesn't go dark. Not like that. So uh, I guess we'll sit here and see if it comes back on. I feel bad for anybody that was in the middle of pumping their fuel. <gasps> Good lord. I need to buy fuel tomorrow very badly. I'm on E, but I wanted a parking spot more than I wanted my fuel. But oh, good lord. Ooh, ooh, that was lightning. <laughs> oh no. The storms aren't that bad right here per se, but literally right over the hill, they're really bad. Uh, so yeah, I guess I should, uh, I should go talk to Steve. <laughs> Crisis averted. Everything's fine. Everything's back to normal. <laughs> I took a picture and I sent it to Steve. And, uh, yeah. Everything, uh, went back to normal right after I took that picture. So, you're welcome, everybody. I, again, I feel bad for anybody that was pumping fuel. I don't know what happens. Does anybody know what happens to a fuel island when you're pumping and the power goes out? I don't. 
I literally have no idea. But uh, truck stop is back to normal. <laughs> no need to panic. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. Ooh, that car is not fine. Mountain. <laughs> 